In this module, we will learn about the top-level keys and top-level settings relevant to the Taurus configuration syntax. It's always good to understand the top-level keys of a Taurus configuration syntax, uh, as it gives you a better idea of how these keys can be utilized while writing a script. The execution is the main section of your Taurus configuration script and declares tools to be executed during um, execution, scenarios to use, etc. The reporting uh, section has analysis and reporting settings, a list of reporting modules to process results. Um, for example, by default, the reporting is set to console. You can also set that to blaze meter reporting, for example. The services module uh, gives you the service module configuration and the scenarios module basically gives you a dictionary of scenario specifications with aliases uh, which can be referred from the execution module. The modules basically gives you a list of classes to load in the respective uh, settings. They are all predefined in Taurus. Uh, settings will give you some top level settings for the tool itself. Provisioning is an advanced option that allows you to decide which resources to use other than local. For example, you could set provisioning to cloud. And the included config section allows you to merge additional configuration files if you would need them to be. For example, it could be jars that I use along with your Taurus scripts. Here is an example of the Taurus configuration that has almost all the top uh, level keys that we spoke about. Uh, let's look at this example in detail. So we've got the execution settings, which has a list of elements inside it, like concurrency, set to 10, hold 4, ramp up scenario, um, set to sample, for example. Then this is followed up with the actual scenario section where the sample is further described. Uh, so you, your sample scenario has uh, headers and has request information for the request URL. Then you've got your reporting section that talks about the default reporting set to console. Uh, then you've also invoked a module by the name JMeter, which will actually allow you to provide the path for the JMeter uh, executor and any other properties that you would like to set. And we've also got the settings uh, section that allows you to set um, information like uh, the check interval or the set the default executed to JMeter and then the provisioning which is set to local in this case. It's also important to understand uh, which rules Taurus uses uh, in order to merge multiple configuration files to a single file at the time of execution. So typically the process will start with an empty configuration structure surrounded by curly brackets and the files are loaded one by one in the order in which they've been placed in the bzt command and every file must contain a dictionary either in yaml or a json format the loaded dictionary is merged uh, recursively into the configuration and dictionaries are merged uh, however the lists are joined uh, if the dictionary key has a uh, tilde prefix then it will override the value instead of merging it but if the dictionary key um, caret prefix then it will delete uh, the corresponding key value pair if uh, dictionary values have different type for example string value uh, or arrays then the value will be overwritten and the warning message will get issued uh, once you understand the basic Taurus configuration syntax and the top level keys, um, here you have a list of the key top level settings that can be helpful to execute the script without any errors. The uh, artifacts directory is a path template to save all the artifacts uh, files. The check interval is the polling interval that's used by the engine um, after startup and until shutdown to determine if the test needs to be stopped. The aggregator module uh, is an alias for the top level results aggregator to be used for collecting results and passing it to the reporters. The default executor is a module alias for executor that will be used for uh, the default settings for execution. 
and the proxy settings uh, are the settings for the BZA feeding and the Toxy uh, and, and the Taurus will use proxy settings uh, from the operating system environment by default. Here is an example of uh, how you can write and modify the top level settings. So if you see we changing the artifacts directory from the default to a different location. The default generally is the directory within which the scripts are being executed. The aggregator has been set to console, uh, which is actually the default setting. Then the default executor is set to JMeter. Um, and here is your proxy setting. So you've got uh, the proxy configuration, which will be consumed by uh, the requests, if any initiated within your script. And also you have an option here at the bottom uh, called check updates that actually allows you to check for updates for Taurus before actually executing any of these scripts. The Taurus configuration syntax also includes time specifications. We saw an example of this before. Uh, it's quite easy to specify time uh, in the Taurus configuration. Uh, S stands for seconds, uh, MS stands for milliseconds, D for day, H for hours, M for minute. And um, typically we have a, a suggestion to generally use the unit of seconds to specify uh, the time. And if you do not follow the syntax of time interval, there is a likely chance of encountering bug at the time of execution. The host aliases uh, for the Taurus configuration are defined using the host aliases setting. And you could use this to give, for example, a, a name to an environment rather than an IP address while running an execution. Mm -hmm.